generally we've been over the rules. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will keep it clean. Touch gloves. Let's do it. And they went nearly a full round in 2020. The shoulder injury for Brandon Royval ended that. Brandon Moreno, three weeks later, went on to fight for his first championship opportunity to a draw, and then he broke through the next year. Brandon Royval has had to battle ups and downs in the UFC. He's going to go back on the way up and fight for a title again this year. Brandon Moreno is a sizable betting favorite in green. Royval is in the whites. And a combined 29 finishes between these two flyweights. Oh, stumbled against the fence from Moreno, who spent the last five weeks with Diego Lopez in the Brazilian Warriors gym, which is in Puebla, Mexico. Brandon Royval, born and raised in Denver, Colorado, and says he trains some jiu-jitsu even higher in the mountains at about 8,000 feet. So he was not concerned with what any elevation would have to offer here. Body kick from Royval. You see that pump fake? That pump fake from Royval, that, that, it's a big weapon of his. He's trying to keep his opponent guessing, faking the kick. But you see Moreno. <laughs> Not really phased by it, just doing his thing, moving around the outside of the cage, waiting for an opportunity. Come on, let's engage. Let's engage. Herb getting on them. Catches the kick, left hook. We saw that against Figueredo. He blew up Figueredo's eye with that exact combination right there. That, that lead hand of Moreno is what you gotta really watch. That's what he's so good with. Deceptively long arms. That one right there. I mean, he just times it so well. That and the jab. The left hook and the jab. Two best weapons he's got. And then that left kick. Roy Ball continuing to shake out yes. that left leg. I saw that too, Brendan. I was just going to say, it seems like maybe that bounced off a knee or an elbow potentially. And there's so many times you throw a kick and oh. you hurt yourself more throwing the kick than you do the opponent because you kick an elbow or something. You never know. All the time. You can hit certain spots on that foot. Your whole it sends just shockwaves through your whole leg, get numb. The leg is hurt. I just heard the corner yell out. Well, you hope it goes numb. Sometimes it just hurts. You never know. He's, he keeps throwing it because he's trying to get it out and get that feeling out of it. You can tell. Halfway through round number one. Each making their reads early. So Moreno is trying to get Rival to chase him. He needs to. Moreno's looking to counter. Once he sets his feet, he's just waiting for him to touch him, and then he counters off that touch of Roy Ball. But the footwork is getting Roy Ball to not be able to set his feet and throw the way he wants to. Oh, oh my goodness, power shots from Moreno. Roy Ball eats it. Throws a combination back. Now things starting to heat up here. Yeah, Moreno's showing a lot of patience, and you're right, Tom. He's just waiting for the range to be right where he knows he can land. And then he explodes. He's waiting for Roy Ball to touch him. Anytime Roy, anytime Roy Ball touch him, he gets countered. So he's just kind of pulling Roy Ball into him with the footwork. And then when Roy Ball reaches, he gets countered. So Roy Ball's so eager to land that he tends to reach. And that's what Moreno's looking to pull out. He's trying to get Roy Ball to reach right now and then counter those reaches. Up the middle from Moreno and he chucks him off with an elbow. Oh, 
Roy Vall undeterred, working with his hands down and pumping out the jab. Final 10. Five minutes in the book. Mark Montoya said, if you can't throw it, just work your left hand. So we'll keep our eye on that left leg and foot of Brandon Royval. He throws it right away to start round two. He's testing it out, but he was shaking it out between rounds. Yeah, I mean, that's the, the, the feet are always getting battered in these fights. You're hitting knees, you're hitting shins, elbows, hips. Safe side would like the stance switch from Moreno in round one. Didn't want him to go backwards too much, though. And he threw that right on the inside leg kick, so I mean, he's able to work it. Oh, oh big right. Moreno's starting to set up that boxing. Oh, man, have an impact with the jab now from Moreno. He's finding his timing. I think the first round was purposefully a bit of a feel around. Get the range, see what's landing, make your reads. Now he's letting it go. And you just seen, like Safe said, keep the center. Seen so many fighters, even in Anderson Silva, used to sometimes give up the first two, three minutes of every first round just to feel the offense that the opponent was looking for. You saw Brent Moreno looking for the same thing, and now he got the feel, the timing. He sees what Royval wants, and now he's he was able to counter well. Now you see in the second round. Let's see if he starts piecing together his offense and be first more because he was able to connect a lot being second. He's dipping and he's landing that right hand. Yeah, well, and you can see that Roy Val does tend to keep that left hand a bit low. Well, got caught reaching there. And Roy Val's got to try to make that read. He's got to see that Moreno is trying to set up that big overhand. Got to try to draw that out and counter. He's got deceptively long arms, Ooh. I'm telling you, Moreno. Like, you don't think he can reach you from the kick range, but he reaches so long. He's got a 70-inch reach. Yeah, they touch his knees. He's got, like, long, long arms. Moreno can't miss right now. He's landing at a 60% nice. clip. Dean Thomas has a headset on. Dean, what do you see through round two here? I think Roy Val's biggest problem is that he lacks exits. Young fighters, a combination is not finished until after you exit. You throw your combination and you exit. And that's why he's getting countered, because he does not exit. And that's kind of what we're saying, right, where he throws his combo, but then he backs out that hands down, and that's when Moreno is finding those opportunities to land that right hand over the top. Nice knee, though. Roy Paul has found success with that knee in the past. And that's, that's a good read there. We've seen it against Nicolau that he finds those knees up the middle, and. If Moreno's looking for overhand rights, where's his head going to go? It's going to dip down a bit. Ooh, heavy combination from the Whoa. assassin, baby. Things heating up in round two. Yeah, way more action here in round two than round one. Again, five-round fight. A lot of implications on this. Those fakes right there from Roy Vall, that is going to make a huge difference as well. As Dean said, he's not exiting well, but if you faint on your way in, then you might land more, and then the exit might not be as important as it's been so far. But without the feints, you're just walking into range landing and then getting countered. So he's got to mix it up, Roy Ball. That was a good jab there from Roy Ball, and now he's starting to try to time that left knee. And again, remember, this is... Oh, there it is again. He's finding that knee. So, so far we're seeing big right hands from Moreno, but now this left kick is back in action for Roy Ball. The knee is there. Oh, good takedown time there, but good, good response there from... They go to the ground in the final minute now. First time on the ground in this fight. Frantic action. Yeah, this is where it can get fun between these two. Oh, he's trying to wrap up a triangle, but oh, not easy to do against Moreno. Oh, man, oh no he's way. 
choke in there. This, we saw Nick Diaz land there. Ooh, that would have been insane. Back in the days. Goes to Alma Plata here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Jiu Jitsu still swinging, there. but some tense moments. We'll keep it here between rounds two and three. Fought in December against Brandon Roy Ball. Before that, he fought Brandon Moreno last summer. And perhaps looking at his next opponent, it's really crazy. Brandon Moreno has just been a repeat customer. He's fought Roy Ball twice now. He's fought Pantoja three times if you include top. He's fought Davis and Figueredo four times. Familiar faces, the opponents for Moreno in recent years. Moreno is a huge reason why this 125-pound division is doing what it's doing. We've had a lot of champions at 125, and nobody's built it as well as Moreno has. So you got to pay attention to that. Because of all these rematches, that's what's created all the landscape in this division. And like we heard earlier, almost 30 combined finishes between these two. Yep. That's rare for 125 pounds. Yes, and is. a big piece of that is because of Moreno. Montoya's advice to Roy Val is to try to get that left hand, draw it out. He knows that Moreno is looking for them big looping shots, whether it be the right overhand or that big left hook. But the left hook is even almost like a left overhand from the lead side, the way he's throwing it. And that foot is definitely swollen. And as we heard, we had him, or they had, uh, Roy Vall had his corner ice the back of his left knee that time. So the left leg is feeling it for Roy Vall as he continues to work and he continues to throw it. Goes to the same The speed of these Crazy guys scrambles. scrambles. There's the back. That's the back take that they've been looking for in this fight. For sure, that was the game plan is to take this position. Roy Vall defended it well. And first round, feeling out process. And now, we've been all action since round two. Well, I've seen more footwork out of Moreno than we've seen in a long time. I mean, I've never seen him move this much. He always moves, he's got the footwork, but he's using it as a real tool in this particular fight. A low blow from Royval there on the left kick. Didn't have major impact, but enough where Moreno wants to collect himself. right. Here's another look. Yeah. Right, right, right. It's a timeout over here. Stand there, please. You ready to go? Okay. All right. Just keep them up. All right, no worries. Touch of the gloves back underway. Oh. A kick answered by a left from Moreno. Body kick. Oh, Roy Vall starting to collapse yeah. some momentum yeah. here in the third. And a lot of it is because now he's trusting that left leg again. Early, he was shaking it out, seemed to be bothering him, but he's really not been bothered. He's been throwing it, throwing it at the head. I like that he's occupying that right hand now of Moreno. Under two to go in round three. Moreno out of range with the big looping shots. I think we're going to see Moreno really turn it up in the last two rounds. I think he's really trying to... Make sure he doesn't overuse his energy because he's not throwing a ton of offense. I mean, he's throwing, but it's not near as much as we've seen out of him. So the footwork has been more utilized for Brandon in this matchup. Slept yeah. with that one. Wow, Ooh. spinning elbow nearly got the target. Instead, Moreno grabs the back, but Roy Ball not settling. Those little moments are where you see Roy Ball kind of give up positions he doesn't need to. I mean, he got out of it, but they're risky positions. High, high risk, maybe high reward. Roy Ball's starting to have some success, though. 
Last couple rounds, landing some good shots, getting his kicks in the game. And they are now even in significant strikes to this point in the fight. Roy Val outlanding Moreno in round three. Yeah, and that's what these corners got to be letting their fighters know. Hey, this is this is tight. A lot of red on the inside of that left knee from Moreno as he throws another looping right. Oh, we're not seeing a ton of combos out there. Hey, there's a nice oh, combo when he throws them, they land. But one at a time is not working as well on Moreno in this third round. Got to throw these combos. Nice. Nice follow through there. Missed with the right, came back with that strong left kick. Nice uppercut from Roy Val there. And a nice end of the round for Roy Val. Round three was a big one for the fighter from Denver. Keep it right here on ESPN Plus after this one wraps. Into yeah. round four we go. Yeah, Roy Val picking up the pace even more here in round four. Oh, works the body. You heard Safe Saud wanting more combinations. From the former champion. Yeah, I mean, right there. I love this kick that he is ending his combos with, though. And he's starting to beat up the back of that right knee for Roy Val. <laughs> nice. Again, really beating up that lead leg. Yeah, that kick has really found it home. Ooh, nice body lock to a trip. Oh, oh, to the great great job. Job. Nice nice floats on top, but right back to the feet. Great balance. Kind of favoring that right leg a little bit. We already know his left leg was giving him problems early in the fight. Fuck yeah, every time. Yeah, he's ended pretty much all of his combos with attacking that lead leg of Roy Ball. 21 leg strikes and counting for Brandon Moreno. There's a head body leg strikes for each. Royval's thrown at a crazy pace. He's thrown nearly 250 total strikes. But he's only landed at 25%. Oh. Both, Both guys shots landed land. there. You know, when we saw in the Pantoja fight that Royval oh. wants to pick things up even further into the fight. Around four, round five is when he does some of his most significant work. That was nice. He seems to be piecing together much better combinations than Moreno. The best combination you're seeing out of Brandon is that low kick off of his right hand. But other than that, you're seeing all the combinations from right off. This is a big round, too, right? This could be a very close fight. This could make it even. Could be ahead. Who knows? Yeah, there's no telling what the scorecards look like right now, but very easy to think that it might be 2-2 if Roy Ball continues to keep the momentum for the final two minutes. There's still a lot of time left. Plenty of time. Man, that leg kick is nasty from Moreno. He could even follow that up. It's landing so heavy. It's interesting. Roy Ball just can't seem to make theirs a read on it. It's the first time he's made him miss that left kick in quite a while. Nice head movement there from Roy Ball. But he's got to come back, and that's what Montoya wants. And he's in the answer back. Rival's kind of got the read on the counters of Moreno, where he's touching, touching, he waits for the, the counter back, and he's kind of sliding out of the way a little bit better this round. That's nice work to the body. I, I think that's good for Royval. You see Moreno starting to do a bit of a shell. 
where he's allowing Royval to combo a little bit and hit the gloves. But that's going to open opportunities for the body. Although Moreno does have those long arms, so those elbows do keep him pretty protected. To the body for Moreno. Roy Val throwing in numbers still. I mean, he's throwing a huge clip if we're going to compare. There's that leg kick, though. The numbers. I wonder what the percentage of, the real percentage of, like, significant strikes would be at the end of this, you know? Because they're throwing so much. They're making Herb Dean have to jog around in there. Like, Raval's just touching, 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 and then every now and then you'll see a hard, a hard punch or a hard kick out of it. But he's just staying real busy. Final seconds tick away. We will head to a fifth and final round in our flyweight main event. Comes down to the final five minutes in our main event in Mexico City. Our return for the first time since 2019. Well, look at the right side of Brandon Roy Ball's face. I mean, that left hook has been landing all night for him. For Moreno, that is. And I think it's a good idea if he listens, if he can find that knee off of these nice punch combos, right? Pop, 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 pop. He touch, touch, touch. And then right as Moreno's looking to counter, that knee's there. And for Moreno, that's what he needs. But he needs to follow up and keep going to that leg as well. But more combos. I mean, Royval does seem to be the fresher guy here in the fifth round. Hurt his eye with that overhand right. You can see Royval yeah. swelling shut quickly. Moreno, of course, went all five rounds with Pantoja last July, as did Royval in December. And that's the only five-round experience for Royval in the UFC. Moreno several times has been the five-round distance. Moreno keeping his body lock, but not really trying to force it down. No, and in doing that, this he's work. got Herb Dean right on top of them. Stop. Thank you. And there Herb has seen enough from Turn the around. clinch. Turn around. Fight. See these moments when he gets Moreno shelling up. And that's when I think Montoya... Oh! Heavy impact on that one. Roy Ball standing his ground as they throw down in the center. Three minutes to go. Nearly found the knee, did Roy Ball. And the volume at which Roy Ball throws his combinations is impressive. I mean, we are in the fifth round at 7,000 plus feet here in Mexico City. And you would think we're at sea level the way Roy Ball's fighting. Well, he trains at a mile high, so he trains at a higher than this. A uh, higher level than this. So. Oh. Well, no, it's 2,000 feet lower. It's but he lower does. where he's at. Yeah, Denver is 5,200 or thereabouts. Oh, okay. Mile High City. Huh? Thanks for correcting But he trains, but he he trains at 8,000 in the mountains, too, sometimes. That makes so that's sense. a little of both, but certainly wasn't worried about Ooh. the elevation. Oh, that little knee, man. He just kissed right outside the face of, uh, excuse me, Marino. And Roy Ball picking it up. How about more than 411 total strikes attempted the jab. for Roy Ball? It's only landed 28%. Because he throws, he throws so many. He just puts a lot of field. There's some big punches from Moreno. And Moreno seems to just be sitting down more on one or two at a time, whereas Roy Ball's throwing big punches and combinations, yep. and that's really been the, the difference and the strikes that land. Moreno has found the timing on the right hand a few times. Another body lock for Moreno. We'll see if he can get things to the mat this time. Let's work. You need to work or I'm going to break you. Man, Herb ain't playing today. You need to go now or I'm going to break you. They just clinched. I just keep fighting the hand. Tell you the words, go. I like it. for Roy Ball. 
I was going to say, that's exactly what Stop. I was going to say, that I, I like that he's not waiting for her. He's trying to fight out Turn of around. it. Right. One minute to go. Woo. Big combination from Moreno. So, oh, big punches there. A little elbow, maybe. I think they're going to let it go here to the end. I think we might get 50 seconds of chaos. Moreno finding the left. Roy Vall still throwing in numbers. Ooh, found knee to the body. Uh, Moreno right back up top. Can he get the takedown at the end? He's holding on again. 30 oh, seconds oh, to oh. go with the warning from Herb Dean. Roy Vall sees himself in this position so often. Control time wasn't getting it done earlier in the night. Takedowns in numbers. The judges went against those. Ooh, a tough one to judge. Roy Vall still swinging, as is Brandon Moreno. Ooh. And you gotta love how they ended that one. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Mike Bell scores it. 48-47, Roy Vall. Junichiro Camillo scores the contest. 49-46, Moreno. And Chris Lee scores it, 48-47, for the winner by split decision, Brandon Roy!